Hello and welcome back to the OXM squad. It has been a while since I played this because of magazine deadlines and some technical issues and stuff, but we are back. Um, this is one of the new uh, Enemy Within missions, I think. Um, it's come really close after another mission, so actually a bunch of uh, the regulars who uh, were on the last one, including the new, uh, newly uh, robotified uh, Tom Francis, uh, are there all still. Uh, in the sick bay or uh, garage in Tom's case uh, getting patched up so we have reverted to Corporal Rosie Fletcher uh, a film lady uh, Curtis Phillips Cozier uh, my preferred sniper and he's all gene modded up uh, Captain Who who is um, I forget where she came from but she was she was a mission ward and she's pretty good and there's Jenny Mead uh, gene modded heavy and production editor and Lieutenant Zhang who is another um, guy oh yeah I got him from that mission in the um, graveyard and he's gene modded too um, I've, I'm getting quite into gene modification because you can stack um, quite a lot of stuff on it as far as I can tell and I've got a reasonable amount of meld um, thus far uh, so that's pretty good um, there's a whole bunch of things that are sort of going wrong in the world at large um, I've sort of chucked up a bunch of satellites which is a kind of good way to kind of keep disaster at bay for as long as possible but they're kind of starting to lose their efficiency because I'm having no, I'm not being very good at shooting down the things I uh, detect. Anyway, that's by the by. I've got to do this mission because it's one of the kind of council ones that's been chucked up, uh, and it involves uh, bring. We've got to go and uh, land on an alien ship. So let's get to that. See, I'm not a big fan of maximum resistance. I'm also a little bit apprehensive that so far the only person who's died is Aoife, which is not normally how XCOM works for me. So I'm kind of cruising for some sort of massive disaster, I think. Some sort of massive cutscene, check this out. That was that it. Right. God. It's been so long since I've played this, I'm actually having difficulty remembering what the controls are. Big Sky took care of the delivery, but now comes the hard part. If we're going to set that battleship down intact, we'll have to start by disabling the power conduits positioned across its surface. There's no telling what we're going to find up there, but we should expect heavy resistance from the alien forces manning that ship. We have a new objective. So... First question, should I open that door? I think I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna stick Curtis up there because he's good. Actually, what I should have done is start Rosie up there because she's an assault troop and she's got improved critical chance. Um, oh well. Um, and I guess Already Zang there. can go up there. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Moving to Overwatch. Basically, the last time I had to do uh, a ship invasion was when was the last mission I did in XCOM Enemy Within, which is all about um, like the final the final mission involves like an alien ship, and um, and it took ages for me to actually. Um, Complete it. I took, took me like four tries, um, and at the end of it, just involved like shuffling everybody forward very slowly. Oh hello! That's not too bad. Yeah, so I'm a bit cautious about alien ships. Well, actually, if this is just thin the men, this should be all right. Directly into the ship's power grid. If we can disable the conduits or destroy them with explosives, it should put that thing out of commission. Yes, yes. To seize its cargo without the risk of collateral damage. I'm a little bit over fond of uh, narrow, uh, a kind of expositionary narrative in this game. Uh, that seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Well, you'd think it was straightforward. Apparently, 97% chance means not a lot. Oh God, 
case can't see anything brilliant all right run and gun let's see what we got here Try that. So he's got a high advantage. It's only 68% of chance. How about that one? Marvellous. Right. Problem now being, I've got Jenny and Zhang, who are two heavies. They're both good, they're the best troops I had for this mission, but they're not exactly quick on their feet. Ooh, oh, balls, and thin men like to throw gas grenades, don't they? Right, I'll get, I'll get Zhang as far as I, over there as I can. They're already hitting my position. Shit. Can use that. No. Good. Overwatch. Rad. Uh, come on, Curtis. Do your thing. Where's Jenny looking on that? This one. All right, who? Come on, redeem thyself. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Curtis can cap this one. mission oh yes I think it's who has got the kind of three health kit thing so I'll have to use her to patch up Rosie next turn um, in the case I don't want Rosie to move so she can go into overwatch the trouble is anyone else who moves is going to get Beamed by that uh, sectoid in Overwatch, which I sort of don't want to happen. So, gonna try waiting it out. Um, don't know if that's gonna do me any good. Oh shit! Right, Curtis. You know what to do, and you have a hundred percent chance of doing it. Bye bye. Right, Who, you're going to come over here and slap a band-aid on Rosie. And actually, by the time she gets down there, that thin man gas cloud should have packed up. I'm going to get. I'm going to stick. Saying like all the way down there. Also, gonna have gas related problems, so stick her in there to leave an overwatch. This 
isn't compared to yeah I guess because I was sort of expecting this to be like the final mission of enemy within and obviously it's nothing it's actually quite mid-range so actually this is fine famous last words seems to have stirred up the hornet's nest the aliens are going to throw everything they've got at us to protect that ship oh good well, I think I just learned a valuable lesson about uh, assuming the best about things there, didn't I? Um, uh, where can Rosie go? Okay, I imagine what this means is that they're now going to beam in a bunch of um, thin men and such. So I think Curtis can reload in that case. Zang can go into Overwatch. What can we do with Jenny? Oh, Jenny can go quite a distance. Does involve losing some ground though. Alright, let's get Jenny over there. And in Overwatch, and we will get Anne. We'll keep, let's just call her Anne. Anne is as easy to say as who, so let's get her down there. Overwatch. And let's see what happens. Bring it on. Bring it on in a slower and easier to hit fashion. Oh, just second, second time's a charm. There we go. Notice I have an overpowering Overwatch base uh, approach to uh, moving forward on this game. Because I'm a massive coward! And I've also had lots of people die in the past. So. let's. Moving to designated coordinates. Let's get Zhang up there. Check out the view, though. It's pretty impressive. Well, he says, running invisible. Look, check it out. It's a city. Rad. Good use of Unreal Engine squad. Uh, and Curtis is still over here. I'm going to have to move him forward at some point, aren't I? Um, let's get him over here. Overwatch, Overwatch. Ooh, convenient. Yep, set towards going down. Snipers are best. Right. Moving up. Contact. Any good shots on those? Really? Can we get Ah oh, damn it. The other one went down there, didn't he? Uh, 
can is pretty much useless because our gun's empty. Jenny can. She's probably worth putting Jenny up there in Overwatch. Just in case that other dude. Oh, she can see him. Oh, 66. I reckon that's worth a shot. Rad. Right. That means that. Shit, I'm going to give Jenny a height advantage. Uh, Rosie a height advantage. Can't run a gun because she's just used it. And it's going to move up as far as she can. And reload. Right, anything useful we can do here. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. Oh dear. Oh very dear. Oh, that's not too bad. Um but you see. I don't know if I if it's good to blow that thing up or not. Rosie, do here? 68, 14, 8, 68. I've got a laser pistol now. So you know you should. Well, that dude's flanked inexplicably. Curtis has for the first time. Um, not got any useful line of sight on anyone. Anywhere very useful either. There we go. See, I just can't quite bring myself to leave people totally out of cover. So, what have we got up here? That's pretty good cover. Oh, oh, they're in Overwatch. Shit. Oh no. This is extremely bad. <sighs> Fuck. Right, so. Right, Thin Man is the immediate problem. Right, he's out of the way. We're looking at up to three damage, 68, 48. Oops, now we're going with a shotgun. Let's try the pistol. That's no fucking good. See, I'm really worried about Jenny now. I think I'm actually going <laughs> to make Jenny go away again because she's like one hit away from death. So we'll try sending Anne up instead. She has the advantage of having a much better chance to hit, so. Good. Eat it. Oh yes, she's got a gene mod that regenerates health. I fucking love gene mods. Rosie doesn't have a gene mod that regenerates health. 
She does have a shotgun though. I think I know what she's going to do with that shotgun. Say hello to my 20% critical chance little friend. Right, I've totally forgotten about Jenny's gene mod. And that's great. That means all I've got to do is just keep her... A Keep her in business for an next turn or two and she'll heal up and heal herself anyway. AKA Overwatch. Overwatch. Still a bit of a cloud down there. I always find it irritatingly hard to work out the, the limits of these things. Let's see. Well, I guess he's all healing, hasn't he? So it'll be fine. Actually, he might. He might have a gene mod that makes him immune to. Um, whoa. Oh, that one. Um, he might have a gene mod that makes him immune, immune to that as well. Gene mods are awesome. In case you haven't uh, heard that already. Let's get Curtis as far forward as we can. Just received some intel that hostiles are advancing on your location. Ready up. Oh dear. Oh yes. Good work, team. Oh, and she's still got another shot. Yes. Commander, that conduit is down, but it might be faster if our troops just hit the others with explosives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rosie needs patching up. Where's Anne? You can already see this being the course of some uh, antagonism in the okay. in the barrack room. These seemingly uh, invincible gene mod people. Actually, mm, yeah, all right, let's do it. I'm effectively wasting one health point there, but. I think it's probably worth doing. Jenny can go to Overwatch. Rosie can. Where should Rosie go? Send her up there, it's a dead end, isn't it? Let's have her go up here so if anything else comes through that door, she can bean it. Yeah, Zang up there. I have it covered. Overwatch and Curtis. Uh, yeah, let's leave him up there. If I can get up there. See, those mechanical noises make me worry that it's going to be one of those, um, you know, two-legged things off of Robocop, um, and I could do without that, if I'm honest. Jenny seems to be the best spot. See, it's just going to be behind that door, isn't it? Plus side. 
food. Can Rosie get down there? Rosie can't get down there. She can get there though. Let's try that. And we can go over there and understood. Moving on. Let's go there. Uh, really would like it if I get cursed into some kind of Overwatch function, but I don't think it's going to happen. So let's just stick him there. And Anne can go to Overwatch. Now, I'm in a slightly healthier position of being able to see. So those two are there. Right, let's open the door. So we could just use a shredder rocket and take out that thing that he's hiding behind, but it's a bit of a waste to do that on, a th on just a thin man, I think. Let's try the laser rifle again. Awesome. Right. Let's find door number two. Enemy in sight. Thin man. Can we hit the thin man? Not easily. Can Rosie hit the thin man? Also not easily. Am I going to send Rosie in to get beat on again? Actually, let's get meaty in here. We still have Curtis all the way over, haven't we? Uh, right, he's not going to be much use this turn, so we'll just park him in a. It's not a great position, but it'll do. Uh, can I grenade him? Ooh, I'll mess up his cover. It would involve messing up cover that's potentially useful to us, too. Ah, oh, let's do it. Let's live a little. Heading there now. Sixty-eight. Shotgun will be about as good as eating in the damn fish, won't it? Yes, it is. Right, laser well, pistol it is. Good work, soldier. Opposition is headed towards you. Repeat. Hostiles approaching your position. Uh see that's bad. Cause Let's try that, because basically, I don't want to send anybody out there because then we'll get hammered by the Overwatch. And I've still got rock rockets left over, so. Power conduit is disabled, but you've got three more to go. Of 
course, the other thing I could have done with send Jenny in a certain knowledge that she's actually going to, whatever damage she takes, she's just going to shrug off and then I'm going to return later. But I'll be watching. I still just don't want the ignominy of uh, somebody getting taken down by a sectoid. There's that lack of cover thing. Well, I'll just have to hope that no one's going to go into the smoking crater where that uh, energy thing was. I feel, Commander. Ooh, a bit low on Hostiles are headed your way, Strike One. Prep for contact. Uh oh. Well, you know what I said about uh, her being in a safe place. Oh. Right. Aim. I suppose Curtis can see it. Oh, he can. He can. He can see it. Well, that should be the end of that, actually. Got him. Snipers are best. Uh, right. As you wish. Rosie. Moving out. There, because she should be safe this side of the Watch door. Oh shit. Oh shit! She's not safe this side of the door at all. Fuck. Right. Great. So, Zhang. I would like you to take a shot at this cyber disc. Even though you apparently have only a 73% chance to hit two in front, right in front of you is fucking appalling. I suppose the hollow diff hollow target thing's useful. That thing can do all the damage, but he's going to regenerate a couple next turn, isn't he? So he's probably all right. That's another so conduit down. You only need to deactivate. I'm not going to use more. a smoke grenade yet. Let's try and do some damage. Right, I'll we'll have to get Jenny up there. I hope Curtis is alright. Oh god, more nice hostiles. Don't be another cyber disc. Two turns till Rosie's dead. 100% chance to hit, 94% chance to hit. 100% critical chance. I will like some of that, please. Right. Oh shit, out of ammo. What's the chance of her hitting that guy up there? 100% up to 3 damage. That means he's definitely going to die, right? Right? Yes! Good. So now all I've got to worry about is an. Oh shit, Overwatch. Oh, he missed. Good. She's got magical healing anyway. It is then. So 
basically Anne is now out of the game's next two turns, assuming she can get over and like patch Rosie up. Uh, 65, 75. Muton's definitely the one to go for, isn't it? Actually, if we do that, we take out the conduit, which will presumably it's pretty close to ending the mission anyway, and all its cover, so we'll probably want to run away. So let's do that. With pleasure. So yeah, actually, that might be the e easier way to save Rosie's life if I can just blow that conduit. Ah, oh, score. Kill confirmed. I'm out of firepower over here. <laughs> they missed the mark. You suck, Muton. So. Alright, seeing as she hasn't got any ammo anyway. That means she can resurrect Rosie from there, right? So you can cheese it. So I'll just grenade that dude, I think. just wondering if I could just beam that thing from over here. But I don't think I can. No, I can't. So I'm going to it's hope... Time. It's not killing time, is it? Run it. Curtis up there. It's about to heat up over there, Strike One. X-rays are making their way to your position. Thin men I can cope with. Shit. Sorry, Rosie. Well, you know, I said it was a really bad idea to point out that I hadn't killed any, that no one has died yet. Right. Kind of a waste of a rocket, but if it ends the mission, it's worth doing. Nicely done, Commander. That ship yes. is now officially under XCOM control. Although I don't think it will fit in the hangar. I think being quite flippy, flippant about Rosie's death, though, man. Oh well. You see, that's I'm not doing a good job on the on the Bechdel test either. So I killed two people, and they were both ladies. So, sorry about that. Sorry, Rosie. Sorry, Aoife. I'll def defo try and kill one of the one of the guys next time. Still wasn't the worst mission. I didn't go. That wasn't quite as nails as I was uh, afraid it would be. So let's see. Did we get any promotions? Okay, it's got promoted again. Fair this man's a killing machine. Killing nano machine. We got. Uh, decisions. I think I'm going to go with that one because I thus far haven't been using snipers in kind of Overwatch anyway. So let's go for executioner. So, right. I guess that means uh, somebody else will be joining the uh, joining the squad from Twitter. So uh, I will be tweeting at you if that's you. Uh, thanks for watching. I will uh, continue doing these until uh, t till the alien men 
uh, menace is wiped out or everyone dies. Uh, subscribe and you'll find out uh, which of those two things happens.